Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. We are learning about the view routing, right? Now, in this video, what we will try to do is we will try to learn about the navigation guards. Okay. So, first navigation guard, what we will try to learn is before before each. So, what is this before each? Now, if you open the here navigation guards, so before guards, first before guards. So that means before each guard. Before each guard means that is nothing but what I can say is. If a router is moving from one page to another, okay, before moving to that page, it will be executed. This guard will be executed, okay. Before going, this this before guards, what it will do is, it will be executed whenever before moving from one nav from one page to another, okay. Before moving from one route to another, this row before each uh, will be triggered. So let's see with a simple example. What I can do is, so this is a global thing. So for every route, whenever we we are navigating from one page to another page. It will execute. Okay. Now let's try to see this one. So here, after declaring the router, here you will be writing router dot before each and two comma from. Okay. And here you will be having. So this will act. This will have two arguments. That is two and from. So two and from two means for which root it is moving to, and from means from which root it is moving to. Okay. So two root and the from root. Now, if you try to print console.log to and the console.log from, if you try to see this output, okay. If you try to see the output here, let's go here. And if you try to see, if I click on create post, I am moving from from post from post to to create post. Now, here if you see, first one is the to create post, and first second one is the from post, okay. So I am moving to create post from the post so this is the route router router total router details you will be getting here okay total route details sorry route details you will be getting here now for example see if you want uh, what it will see is if you doesn't return anything if you return false okay for every route it will not move to anywhere so it will be empty screen will be displayed so if i try to refresh here so it will not do anything empty screen will be displayed. why because so it is not moving to anywhere okay so return false will not will stop the moving from one route to another. Now if you don't mention anything or if you mention return true means it will allow, allow to navigate the to that from to the to root. Okay. Now another thing what we can see is you can also send it to separate route also. So you are desired route. For example, here you can write if two dot path is equal to is equal to slash create post. If it is slash create post, okay. If it is a slash create post, so router dot push you can use push replace go a whatever you think you want you can use so router dot push to slash something so that means this one will become not found now if you try to see the output here so if you we if if you are in we are in the post if i click on the create post it will go to ra the random url what we have given see so like this also you can you can navigate from one page to another so depending on the url what you are having okay so this is the router path dot before you. So this one will be executed every time when we are navigating from one route to another before navigating. Okay. And another one, third optional parameter, you'll be having a third optional parameter that is nothing but next. What is this next will do is the same scenario. The same thing happens. For example, see if you pass next like this, or otherwise next of true. So if you doesn't pass, default will be the true. If you true, if you pass next here, then automatically everything will be. So it will be passed. Nothing, no problem. If you pass next of false means, so it will, it will, it will, it will stop from navigating from one page to another. Okay. So depending on this one, and also you can pass the. So in the same scenario, you can also pass the next of. You can mention the root name also. For example, if I can write two dot path is equal to is equal to same thing slash create post. If it is a slash create post, then please navigate to next to. I can write something like slash something okay or otherwise i can i can do next else i can do next sorry i can do next next means simply it will move so now if i try to see the output here so create post means it will simply move to the not found page see so whatever the not found page i have given it will simply move to the not found page for example see if you if i want to move to this one so slash post slash 
something this number okay so this unique id you can also do like this so what what i can do is so next of what i can do is next of here i can write path slash post okay and i can give params id like this okay id of like this so i can also send like i can also send in between this one router router object how we are how we are trying to send we can also send like this also now if i try to refresh this one if i go to create post okay it will go to the post c so for example see by one second so we are in the post right if i click on the create post what is happening uh path post okay so this is the thing you need to remember so if you are writing path means params will not work okay so params will work only for if you have name here okay name we are having the post right so we name we are having the post right so you need to remember this one so for example if i want to have the path also that means you need to pass here randomly dynamically like this okay you need to pass dynamically like this if you have a name means name so you need to mention post here so you need to remember the difference between when when we need to use the params means if you have a name here then only this params will work if you have a path here the, the params will not work so you need to give slash path slash like this unit you need to also remember this one so we already have the name for the post right so default where is that one name for the post right so now it will work if i go to create post okay let me refresh this one okay now if i try to go to the create post happening here okay so what is the problem here we are getting so posts and params we are writing right so for the post okay okay so the, the wrong the, the problem is so we need to give the name single post why because for the single post we are having this param id right path id right params we need so we need to replace with the single post. okay my wrong my mistake it says sorry so now if i click on the create post here press it again so if i click on see now it moved to the uh, the url see so if i click on the post if i click on the create post it moved to the separate url so in this way we can give the we can use the before each so this you need to remember that before each will execute each and every time okay each and every time when we are navigating from one page to another page okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you